As explained in our lesson on isotopy, the atoms of some elements in the periodic table have the ability to exhibit different atomic mass but the same atomic number. Examples of such elements include hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, and chlorine. In this lesson, we will take a close look at the isotopes of hydrogen. Hydrogen has three naturally occurring isotopic forms. They are protium, deuterium, and tritium. These three isotopic forms of hydrogen are like three siblings who have similar looks but still have some differences. This is because protium, deuterium, and tritium all have the same number of protons and electrons but different number of neutrons in their respective nuclei. Deuterium and tritium are sometimes represented by the letters D and T, respectively, but it is recommended to represent them using their standard isotopic symbols. Symbolically, protium is represented as hydrogen 1, 1, deuterium is represented as hydrogen 2, 1, and tritium is represented as hydrogen 3, 1. To understand the similarities and differences between these isotopes, let's examine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in their respective atoms. As seen here, all the hydrogen isotopes have one electron in their shells. They also have one proton in their respective nuclei as well. Now let's see the number of neutrons in their nuclei. Proteum is the only hydrogen isotope without a neutron in its nucleus. It only has a proton in its nucleus. This is why it is called proteum. Deuterium and tritium, on the other hand, have one and two neutrons in their nuclei respectively. Proteum is the most abundant isotope of hydrogen. It constitutes about 99.985% of a sample of hydrogen, while deuterium constitutes the remaining 0.015%. Tritium, on the other hand, is rarely found in a sample of hydrogen due to its radioactive nature. Both proteum and deuterium are chemically similar in the sense that they both react with oxygen to form oxides. However, proteum will combine with oxygen to form water, while deuterium will combine with oxygen to form deuterium oxide, which is also known as heavy water. It is called heavy water because it is heavier than water. Before we conclude this lesson, let us take a brief look at the uses of deuterium and tritium. Deuterium is used as a moderator and coolant in nuclear reactors during the generation of electricity. Due to tritium's radioactive nature, it is used for producing nuclear weapons and in self-lighting devices. Let's do a summary of what we have discussed so far to conclude this lesson. Hydrogen has three naturally occurring isotopic forms. They are protium, deuterium, and tritium. Protium is the only hydrogen isotope with no neutrons in its nucleus. It is also the most common isotope of hydrogen. Protium and deuterium are chemically similar in the sense that they can combine with oxygen to form oxides. I hope you enjoyed this fascinating lesson on the isotopes of hydrogen. I'll see you in the next one.